started with six naked Barbies, a ping pong net, a ping pong ball, and a homemade sign for the Olympics in Turin. We're in Turin in 06 when the women won the beach ball Olympics. And so that started all of this. Three or four beers and your imagination gets crazy and you start talking it through and you go, hey, I can, we, we can do this, we can do this, we can. Okay, we'll do that. Put up this sign, Steve edited it, of course, because I want to be really ugly about it. And people brought Barbies and, and stuff and we grew. The first thing a child does when they get a new Barbie is take the clothes off. And when these children and young adults bring us Barbies, they're naked. 99% are naked. Of the time, they're naked. A lot of the time, and I don't know if it speaks for society or not, but they've had their hair cut. Yeah, tattoos. Yeah. We've had some with tattoos drawn on them. What one of the one of the funniest ones was when uh, Katrina hit New Orleans. Yeah. We evacuated the whole beach. There was nothing down there. Absolutely nothing. And I was down there one day, just cleaning the beach or what, doing whatever, you know. And these two ladies stopped. And they gave me a box. And it said, Barbie Beach Hurricane Relief Fund. <laughs> and it was full of Barbie stuff. We do try to do pride. And it's a fun thing. Mm -hmm. Because it, it stirs the pot a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it gives our detractors something else to talk about. And we put up uh, a sign like, uh, love is a mighty splendid thing, like the old song, or, you know, just anything to uh, stir the pot. And... Uh, Freedom of speech. We, we, we are a, to me, it is a form of freedom of speech. We don't intend to defile anybody. Uh, minimize anybody just enjoy life make people smile that's the main thing